All right, thanks for watching. And because we're too cool for the summer, today I actually want to calculate the volume of an ice cream cone. Yummy, yummy, okay? And I know it can be done with spherical coordinates. I'm sure people will comment on that, but I just want to keep it simple. It's not, even directly, it's not such a bad problem. And so, as for any problem with triple integrals, a picture says a thousand words. So let's first of all figure out what those surfaces are. So note, z equals to square root of x squared plus y squared. That is z squared equals to x squared plus y squared. And this is one of the formulas people should know. That is a cone as an ice cream cone. And moreover, remember this is greater or equal to zero, so this will be the upper part of a cone. And z equals to eight minus x squared plus y squared. That is the same thing as z squared equals to eight minus x squared minus y squared, which becomes x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to eight which becomes a sphere. And again, it's greater or equal to zero, so we want the, a half sphere, hemisphere. And so based on those two things, let's draw our picture. Okay, so it's math version of a snapchat. So picture, so again, let's draw it x, y, z. I'm using the Stuart convention, which I don't like really, but you know, x is here, y is here, z is here. And so on the one hand, we have the cone. I'll use red in a second. So we have the cone. So that was z equals to square root of x squared plus y squared. On the other hand, we have the hemisphere, which looks like this dripping ice cream, like this. Okay, whoa, and so, I don't know why I said whoa, but uh, it's pretty cool. So this was, remember, z equals to square root of eight minus x squared plus y squared. And so really what we want is the picture in between. So it's this ice cream cone in fact, this thing here. And maybe just to make sure, let me draw a better picture because those 3D things are hard to visualize. So it's this thing. All right, where the bottom thing is square root of x squared plus y squared, and the top thing is square root of eight minus x squared plus y squared. All right, now, there are two ways of approaching this. You could either use a triple integral because the volume is a triple integral of one, or another way of doing this is simply the volume is the double integral of the bigger function minus the smaller function. And this is sort of similar to single variable where the area between two functions, it's the integral of the bigger function minus the smaller function. So here it's the same thing. This is big and this is small. And so we get that. Turns out we don't need that anymore. So two. Volume is the double integral over something, and I explain you what this something is. Oh, the big minus small dx dy. And here's where the picture is very important, because you might think the cone is bigger than the sphere, but here it's actually the opposite. The sphere is bigger than the cone. 
The ice cream is on top of the cone. So, man, now I'm hungry. Okay. So, <laughs> so this becomes double integral over d of a minus x squared minus y squared minus square root of x squared plus y squared dx dy. Alright, and now of course this begs the question, what is d? Well, what d is, it's the region in the xy plane under the uh, ice cream cone, which in my opinion, it's better visualized just as thinking of it's the shadow under this cone. So suppose you're in the sunlight and you put your cone up, what shadow does it put underneath? Or another way of visualizing, it's like a bird's eye view. So suppose you're like a bird looking from top of the ice cream cone, then you see this region D. And notice, in this case, the region, you can actually find it also in the ice cream cone. Notice, it's precisely where the cone is crustiest where it's sort of the intersection between the ice cream and the cone, and it's like where the, I know in usual ice cream cones, this is like a bit you know, fluffier if you want, okay? <laughs> and so in particular, it's given by the intersection of the two. So unfortunately, I have to erase this now. Again, D is a shadow under the ice cream cone and this is given by the intersection. And this is very typical in multivariable calculus problems where the shadow is either given by the intersection or it's given by when you set the surface equals to zero, so Z equals to zero. And so, square root of 8 minus x squared minus y squared is square root of x squared plus y squared. This gives us 8 minus x squared minus y squared is x squared plus y squared. This junk, put it here, and you get 2x squared plus 2y squared equals to 8. So, x squared plus y squared equals to 4. And very important, well, in 3D, it becomes a cylinder, but D is a 2D region, which in this case just becomes a disk of radius 2. Of rad 2. It's so rad, okay? Mm -hmm. And so again, with the bird's eye view, if you look at the ice cream cone from above, you actually see a disk. And this is very useful because not only do we see x squared and y squared, but also d itself is a disk. So we can actually continue this problem. And we can actually, you know, convert this into polar coordinates. So the angle is between 0 and 2 pi. And the radius is from 0 to 2. And this becomes square root of 8 minus r squared minus square root of r squared r d r d theta. Which becomes, if you want, integral from 0 to 2 pi, integral from 0 to 2, square root of 8 minus r squared r and then minus of square root of r squared is just r multiplied by r, you get r squared, dr d theta. And then I'm not going to evaluate the whole thing, it's a bit boring, but let me just give you the next step. So first of all, this doesn't depend on theta at all, so you can multiply it by 2 pi. And then, well, this is 8 minus r squared to the 1 half. So it becomes 8 minus r squared to the 3 halves. To cancel out these 3 halves, you have to multiply by 2 thirds. 
On the other hand, when you differentiate this minus r squared, you get a factor of minus 2, which you have to cancel out with the minus 1 half. And then this is minus 1 third r cubed. And you evaluate it from 0 to 2. And if you evaluate this gigantic mess, and again, I'm not going to do it now. We have better things to do, I think. You get 32 pi over 3 times square root of 2 minus 1. So next time you lick your ice cream cone, think, hmm, this is 32 pi over 3 times square root of 2 minus 1, you know, units worth of deliciousness. <laughs> And also, I think it illustrates this nice double integral business. All right, so if you like that and you want to see more math and more multivariable calculus, please make sure to subscribe, my, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I'm about to eat some ice cream now because I'm very hungry.